Hello, welcome to Tabletop CP. Today we continue our Battle Force campaign, The Scorpion's Lair, with Game 2, The Scorpion's Sting. So if you have not heard of Battle Force, that's because it is a brand new game. It's written by my friend Casey Stratton. He has a company called Bald Guy Games and he put this game out. It is available for free. Uh, there'll be a link in the description if you want to try it out. And I would recommend it. It's a very fun game. We played the first mission in this campaign about a month ago, The Scorpion's Cage. And we had a lot of fun with it. It's got a lot of depth. There's a lot of tactical flexibility. There's just a lot of stuff that can be done. And it's a perfect, uh, uh, perfect set of rules for a fast-paced modern game. In mission one, The Scorpion's Cage, Andre was playing the Rangers. Uh, he did complete his mission. Uh, he scored 12 points. I scored 5 points. Uh, but I did search the uh, Humvee, the Ranger Humvee, and I was a and with that I was able to get a special bonus in this mission, which is going to be an RPG that I can add for free to my force. Andre, on the other hand, did not search three buildings. There was a stipulation that said if you were able to search three buildings as the Americans, that you would get some special documents. And those would allow Andre to have the initiative automatically for free on the first and last mission of the game. Sadly, he did not uh, search three buildings successfully. He tried. He did a bunch of uh, snafus, which are kind of like foo bars in bolt action, where a random weird thing happens. And uh, I don't think anything happened to that to him because of that. But in the end, he did not successfully search the three buildings. So for tonight's mission. We are playing Mission 2, The Scorpion Sting, October 20th, 2002, 1900 hours. Three trucks race through the streets southeast of Jalalabad, pursued by an armored Humvee. Automatic fire erupts from the lead trucks, pursuers close the distance. Workers dive to the side as groups blaze into the heart of Hisari, the, <laughs> let me say this, Hisar Chassis Sh Industrial Park, bullets shredding containers full of unknown cargo. Sit rep. The Red Scorpion, having narrowly escaped in Jalalabad, now races toward a large industrial park just east of the city. UN forces have picked up the trail via drone and are pursuing the small caravan. Communications from command indicate the industrial park you have just entered is occupied by several civilian workers. Your orders are to capture and eliminate the target with limited civilian casualties. So this is the industrial park here, and the game is already set up like this. I have Omni Terrorist. I'm going to have three trucks with all my terrorists in it. Essentially what we have is a high-speed chase that we're kind of joining in progress. So the Rangers are in the Humvee. Andre can choose whether to have a 50 cal or Mark 19 mounted on top. I'm going to have machine guns, technicals, so light vehicles. Excuse the scale difference. Uh, I have these two and then I got that one. That's all I have. So we're just going to pretend they're all the same size. Uh, but anyway, so I'm going to have three guys per truck. And in one of the trucks, the Red Scorpion is going to be, and I'll just say it now, he's going to be in this lead truck here. Uh, and he, of course, as with every mission up until mission four, one of the objectives is for the Red Scorpion to get off the board. Other objectives, so the uh, players score one point for every model that is alive at the end of the game. This includes models that are severely wounded or bleeding, but have received some form of stabilizing medical attention. So it is important, if even if you have terrorists that are bleeding out, maybe to try to stop them from bleeding. If you want to score the points, obviously it's far more important for the Americans to do that. Uh, if either side searches the body of a fallen enemy with a search action, the base modifier of uh, difficulty of plus one, they receive one point to a maximum of three points. Uh, secondary objective, if either player searches a vehicle belonging to the enemy faction uh, with a plus two modifier, you receive encryption codes and plus three points. And then if the uh, Red Scorpion is eliminated, the Americans get two points. If the Red Scorpion is alive, or left the board alive, the terrorists receive one point. And then each player gets one point for each vehicle model left in a functioning state. Each player loses one point per civilian killed. I have several civilians scattered around. I got one here. I got one here. I got one here, and then there's one over here. 
And if the terrorist player win initiative at least once in the game, they get one point for that. And that's the, uh, so the objective is basically to build up points um, to see who won. You also can obviously uh, get the encryption codes, which will come in handy later, and it'll give you more points as well. So we're starting like this. Uh, the Rangers chasing the Red Scorpion and his uh, convoy here into the industrial plant. And we got to try to get off the board. Terrain wise, it is as you see. This game isn't really heavy, heavily on terrain. Kind of like Spectre isn't really terrain driven. There's no hard, no distinction between hard cover, light cover. It's just cover. If someone has cover, they get a minus one to shoot if you're shooting at them. Or you get a minus one to shoot, I should say, if you're shooting at them. So it's just very simple. There's no different types of cover. Um, so pretty much the board is what you see here. Obviously, line of sight blocking train is going to block line of sight, but uh, other than that, pretty much if you're on top of any building, you're going to have cover. If you're partially obscured, you're going to have cover. So just very simple cover rules. Now we'll take a quick look at the forces. So we'll start with our Americans. These are Rangers. So these are the surviving members. Well, they're all they all survived the last mission, but so they're back. This is the same guys. They're in the Humvee. We got uh, Captain Greg Padilla. He's got an assault rifle. He's in command. We have Andrew Cox with the blue base assault rifle. Purple, we got Dan Beersford. He's carrying an LMG. Alan Downs with the yellow with the assault rifle. And Josh Bruder with an assault rifle. So these guys are different levels. Um, the best guys are, I believe, the leader and the LMG are better than these guys. And, and that just affects their stats, which we'll get into in the game. I know I had some questions after the last game. You, um, you there was some requests for us to go into the rules a little bit in more detail, which we'll do tonight. Uh, we'll kind of go through the process and explain what we're doing on a few turns a little bit more in depth than we did last time. But as you see, that's a pretty small force here. Not a lot of guys. So it should be a pretty quick moving game. And here we have the terrorist. So we have the Red Scorpion. This is him here on the cell phone. He is the main guy. He's the best one. The rest are all militia, lowest tier you can get. So the Red Scorpion has an assault rifle. Almost everyone else has an SMG except they have one guy with an RPG. And the reason I have that is a free RPG upgrade because I searched the Humvee last time in the last game which allowed me to get this free weapon. So another, uh, other than that, it's just what you, what you see is what you get. A bunch of um, SMGs, one assault rifle, and one RPG. This is going to be broken down by truck. So three in one truck, three in the other truck, and then that lead truck is going to be three guys with the Red Scorpion. So that is pretty much it. I like to try to keep these intros quick. On campaign games like this, they go a little bit longer, but uh, I'm pretty much done with the intro now. So what we'll do is uh, when Andre gets here, he'll pick if he wants the 50 cal for his uh, vehicle or the Mark 19. I'll brief him, and we'll get started. So Andre's arrived, and we are about to... Uh, he's been briefed. And we are going to roll for initiative. So Andre's. So let's real, really. I told everyone that we we're going to kind of talk about the rules a little bit more. Okay. So in a few phases, we'll just kind of maybe go over a little bit more in uh, detail than we normally do. So you're going to talk about how my leader gives me an initiative of plus five. Yeah. So the initiative roll. roll. Initiative to see who goes first in the important phases, pretty much. Uh, you go first. The enemy has to move first. You get to shoot first, and you get to uh, act first. Uh, so it's very important. Yeah, and there's a base mod, there's a base initiative, and it's tied to your skill as well as you can buy gear to boost it. So like, I don't know right offhand, but like maybe radios or there's different gear you can buy to increase your uh, initiative roll. So Andre, in the end, with all modifiers plus his uh, base, his own initiative being a commander is plus five. Myself, I'm only a plus two. So his roll is d6. Have this. And whoever gets, Ooh, so that's uh, six. Yeah, we tied. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, wait, no. What? So you know how ties are resolved, right, Taravis? Oh, we got a bid. That's right. Yep. Ah, uh, yeah. So that's another thing. There's, It's not so much in this campaign. It doesn't affect it as much. Uh, I guess it could, but normally you would have cash left over, and you could pay that out to bid on the... Uh, to win the initiative. And in this case, as I recall, uh, you're the only one that has a significant amount of cash. Yeah, but let's just roll it again, because okay. I'm not sure about that. 
All right, you got it that time. But yeah, there is there is uh, differences in cash. If you if you save money, you don't buy a bunch of good gear. That's one way you can save money to bid for the initiative and win the initiative. Um, but anyway, so Andre won the initiative, which means he gets to go first. But actually, like I said, I'm going to have to move first. So which... Andre's going to know where I'm moving, but we're going to alternate. So I'm going to move, and he's going to move. It's going to go really fast because I only have the three vehicles. He's only got the uh, the one vehicle. So we'll go ahead and come back after the movement's done. So we finished moving. I've moved everything up. Andre's just driven straight up the road. I did forget to mention that... Um, the terrorists have to get out of their vehicle on turn two. And now we would move on to the action phase, which means Andre would get to go first. But in the action phase, there's a chance that you might be able to act quicker than your opponent would. And there's a skill, um, there's a skill assigned to each, uh, each person that tells you um, how, what am I trying to say? <laughs> the higher the number, that, that means that you go first. So... So basically, it's a reactive. Uh, yes. How quick are you on the trigger? number yeah. that allows you to uh, yeah. see if you can um, draw out first. draw the yeah. other guy. Exactly. And again, there's ways to modify that by buying different gear and stuff. But um, in this case, Andre is going to go first. So up in the turret there, he has it was uh, Andrew Cox. He's the turret gunner. Yep. And Andre did choose the 50 cal. So in the action phase, there's a lot of different different things you can do. All right, so the uh, things you can do, you can aim, which gives you a plus one to hit. You can shoot, so it's essentially an extra round of shooting because later there's going to be a like a true combat phase where you do shooting. But you can shoot in the action phase. You take a little penalty for it. You can dodge, which means you can move again. So any of these vehicles can move another three inches. Uh, you can get in and out of a vehicle, which will probably happen here. Uh, you can drag, pick up, or carry something. Clear a jammed weapon. So if you fire your weapon auto and you roll some, I think, double ones, your weapon jams. And you have to use an action to, un, uh, to clear the weapon. And then finally, assess battlefield. That is a very important one as it boosts your initiative score by, like, plus three. And it's not good to lose initiative. Yes. So Andre had a, already a five is going to assess battlefield first right now with someone in the Humvee. And that'll be downs. And that'll give me a plus three to on five. top of my five. So I'll be at a plus eight, which I don't think it's possible for me to lose the initiative. No, because I'm at a two. So I pretty much have to... Well, yeah. <laughs> I have to assess before you. And that will happen later. Because it's not so obvious what to do once all the bullets start flying here. So Andre's assessed. So what I'm going to do now... And this is also also alternating so now andre went now i will go so if i was to say i'm going to shoot my machine gun this is where the quick trigger thing would be all right so we're going to go ahead and just fire the machine gun so cox up here in the turret his uh, modified action is six my guy's a five so that means even though i'm initiating the action andre is actually going to get to get to go first so it's sort of a built-in interrupt um, if you can pull it off if you can pull it off but like andre said he was able to assess knowing that i had the next action but he knew that he had a higher action skill than me so he was going to go first either way all right so you're going to fire at the truck um or, or at the driver i can't fire at the guy manning the gun uh i guess you could yeah so we'll go ahead and get that uh, ready all right so just real quick we'll just go over this we're just going over the uh, mechanics real quick right now later we'll just skip right through and play but so he's going to fire he has a base shooting skill, a base skill of two, which means he's hitting on twos. But there's, some there's a lot of modifiers that you can add uh, or subtract, depending on, on what your uh, situation is. But he's going to fire. So he's got a machine gun. It fires three dice. So he takes the two. Whenever you're firing anything full auto, you subtract two. So he's up to a four. And then since he's shooting at a moving vehicle, it's one more fives. So needing five, three dice at are going to hit. Okay. And I get three shots. Yep. But I do pull red cards, which are the most deadly, if I get a hit. Oh, two Ooh. hits. Yeah, so as Andre said, the cards are... It's essentially a D12. So there's 12 cards, so there's a, you could do it just by rolling D12 and looking up a chart. But we have actual cards. So, I'm shooting at a vehicle. If small arms fire damage, 
then vehicle suffers a malfunction and is disabled. If moving, resolve an out of control maneuver. Random passenger draws a yellow card. Okay. So draw a yellow card real quick for the passenger and see uh, what happens to him. So see which uh, passenger. They're all the same. They're just three. No, there's a guy on the gun and there's a oh, okay. driver. And... All right. <laughs> Random. All right. Uh, two is driver, three is pat, and then uh, up to six is gunner. So driver. Okay. Driver is suppressed. Okay. So, uh, or, oh, what, I'm sorry, what's his number? Oh, he's down it. He's a red. He's a red? Yeah, he's got a So load. he's wounded and suppressed. Okay, so the driver's wounded and suppressed. And then we do a random, or an out of control move. So 2d6 in a random direction, because the car went out of control, because the driver got hit. And yeah, he's, he's going to crash right in. Crashing hard. <laughs> right into the building. Plus another At eight inches speed. into the building. <laughs> Good thing it's a concrete building. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Right, so right, after the collision... Four. Uh, there's three guys. So after the collision, Darn. it's not the red scorpion. <laughs> so what Andre is going to do now, if something uh, vehicles collides, the passengers pull a green card. So the driver. Driver is wounded. All right, he's dead. Hamstrung. So that's the second wound so he's killed. If a sing single model takes two wounds, they just die outright. Okay. The okay. Uh, passenger. passenger is suppressed. Okay. And the gunner is wounded suppressed. Okay. So we'll sort this out. So we have one dead driver, and then we had a suppressed, and another guy was wounded suppressed. So suppressed normally means if you're suppressed, you have to move, I believe, four inches, and you have to try to find cover and get out of line of sight of the enemy. And that model cannot activate again until the next action phase. So suppressed means they are stunned and just out of it. Yeah. What's and the here's the second hit. That was all the first hit. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh the second hit. Perfect. What's <laughs> um, Okay, uh, who's it on? It was on the vehicle. Okay, you got two the hits on the vehicle. Oh, I'm looking at. Uh, okay, vehicle. If small arms fire damage, then vehicle suffers a malfunction and is disabled. If moving, resolve an out of control maneuver action. Okay. Um, well, we already did that. So it's disabled. And Random passenger <laughs> draws a yellow injury card. Oh boy. All right, so we only got two guys left, so uh, odds is driver, even is gunner. All Wasn't right. the driver, driver the one that I'm was sorry, killed? I'm sorry, passenger, yeah, passenger. Passenger. So the passenger killed outright. Killed outright. All right, so All right. passenger and driver killed. Gunner is, I believe, suppressed. So he cannot activate until the next turn. So that vehicle is pretty much out of commission. But it is now, well, it's your action phase now. <laughs> <laughs> I say that was my action phase, but I did nothing but crash into a wall. <laughs> um, okay. So you got guys in the vehicle. So at the end of the action phase, we're alternating. We already saw what happened with the truck. So after that, um, Andre got, who is that? Uh, That's Beersford. Beersford with the LMG. He got out. And I started unloading these guys over to there. And then Andre got Padilla out. And then he used his action to dodge. That's the name of the move. It's an extra three inch move in the action phase. He moved that up and then I moved this truck up, which Andre has already obviously deduced holds the <laughs> red scorpion. As everyone here is almost dead and then those guys got out. My Unless RPG the red scorpion is hiding in the vehicle. That's true, he could just be. trying to, I could have, I could, that's something I would try and do. I actually didn't have to tell you, did I? But anyway, so after the uh, action phase, is the reactive movement phase. So this is a secondary movement phase. And this is the only phase where the loser of the initiative has to do everything first. Normally it's alternating, but in this phase, I move everyone first. So in the reactive movement phase, everyone can move four inches, uh, an additional four inches. So I'll we'll go ahead and do all the reactive movement. The phase. end of the reactive movement phase. So this truck's empty. Uh, these guys just pulled back out of line of sight. This Humvee moved up five. Vehicles can move five. My truck moved up five. Uh, Padilla, he's coming around back this way to cut these guys off. And then Beersphere here just moved up alongside the um, Humvee. So the next phase would be the combat. The combat phase proper. The real combat phase. And this is also alternating, starting with the person who won the initiative. So that would be Andre. So really, yep. he only has one target, and that's the dude the in the back dude, of the truck, uh, the suppressed, right. wounded, stunned guy. So, so can I light him up with the 50 again? Um, or are you going to have Beersford take him down? I'm going to have Beersford uh, take him down. All right, so Beersford has a light machine gun. 
Uh, he's also a two plus because he is a uh, core core slash regular soldier. So he's hitting on a two, and then you add the modifiers. So I don't think you have any modifiers. I think you're just hitting straight on twos. Uh, Unless we're yeah, he doesn't count. We'll give him cover because he's got the gun. He's field. got well in the tailgate. Yeah, and so we'll give him cover. He's not going to be counting in a moved vehicle because nope. he's pretty <laughs> he's well stopped now. So it's the three, but then you two more for being automatic. So you're back to fives. So hitting on fives. Yep, hitting the guy on the gun on fives. Oh, he got, got one. one damn it. So 50 cal is a red card. Okay. High power weapon. So we shuffled this pile, okay. and they're all back in there. And he's in the zero to four. Yep. He's killed out. Yeah. So they all have base defenses too. Let me see that card real quick. So the, uh, it tells you what happens based on their defensive number. So you got zero to four, five to seven, eight plus, and then you got your vehicle. Different types of uh, damage, explosive damage or small arms fire. But anyway, he's killed. So this truck is toast. And that's pretty much it for combat. No one else has line of sight on anything. So we'll go ahead and move on to the next turn. Go on, I, I was wrong. Andres is gonna shoot with the 50 cal at the empty vehicle just for the hell of it. Well, I don't know it's empty, and uh, I don't want you to get back into it. Yeah. Just. Yeah, you got a 50 cal. <laughs> yeah. Why not? And I got ammo I haven't even used yet. <laughs> I want to bring too much ammo. Oh, man. And I, and I missed it. Yeah, that's true. Or, no, no. Uh, one hit. Actually, because uh, you're not moving any longer. You're a base two, and plus minus, two. minus two for the auto. So, right. yeah, it is a hit. So, one hit. Red card. Red card. And so we're technically supposed to shuffle in between, but well, no, this this is still the same uh, phase. Not, well, no, you shot at this guy. Yeah, but, but it's the whole phase, I believe. No, it's not the phase. It's like the action. It, uh, just individual action. Okay, yeah, but it doesn't matter. Um, it's an empty truck. Vehicle suffers a malfunction and is it disabled. Read the top one. Remember, because we're going to add that. Oh, if. We were going for explosive. Explosive slash heavy. We decided the 50 cal is a heavy weapon. So if we're adding explosive that on the damage, vehicle is destroyed and passengers okay. killed. Oh, ah, well, there you go. Good thing I got out. <laughs> <laughs> so we on the fly, we've done explosive slash heavy damage, heavy weapon damage. So it's destroyed. Truck is uh, toast. Now that is the end of this turn. Move on to turn two. So now I have to get out. So the reason I have to get out is because... Uh, narratively in the campaign the Red Scorpion is trying to get to meet uh, a meeting and we're supposed to delay the pursuers by getting out and fighting that's the story reason why you have to get out on turn two and Andre assessed last time so when he assessed if you assess first you get plus three to your initiative so Andre went from a five to an eight I'm still at a two I can't possibly beat him so he's gonna have the initiative. although you could have tied if you'd have assessed second that's getting true. one point and then on a one for me and a six for you we would actually tie so yes. you'd have had a one in 36 chance of yeah pulling the draw you can still assess if, if even if you don't do it first uh, but you only get a plus one but like andre said that would at least give me a chance like sort of dumb and, <laughs> not much dumb of and a dumber chance, chance. But... <laughs> <laughs> okay all right. all right so you have the initiative so we go right into movement phase the only thing I, well, I was going to say my suppressed guy can't move, but he's no longer with us. So Andre will go ahead and, uh, well, I'll begin the movement phase. I have to move first. Okay. So, again, it's alternating. The end of the movement phase, alternating. Um, I moved up there. Andre drove the Humvee up with the 50 cal looking this way. And I started All the guys that were evacuating out. Andre moved Padilla in here instead of coming out and facing all three because he would have been out of a grenade range. This guy did move tactically, which gives him a plus two to his action score, which would have made him closer to Padilla. And if Padilla would have moved normally around, we would have actually been tied in that uh, face off there. But Andre realized that and he went into the building. Now it is the action phase. So first off, down or Downs, who's still in the Humvee, looking at his map, is assessing the battlefield. So right now it seems very obvious because Andre is going to keep doing that, but there should come a point in this game where that's not going to be such where an Downs obvious decision might actually to make. Think, you know, maybe I should get out and shoot somebody. <laughs> like if these guys come around the corner, but I'm not coming around the corner into a 50 cal. So that's uh, no worries yet. So now I will do an action. I got out here. I have to start getting these guys out now that it's turn two. 
And since it doesn't look like there's going to be a lot of shooting in this action phase, we'll go ahead and come back at the end of the action phase. The end of the action phase, I got everyone out of here. Actually, yeah, everyone's out. Even the gunner's going to get out. Uh, so they're all here. The Red Scorpion's right there. Meanwhile, uh, Beersford moved what up. What did the guy that's in the car do? What the car? The one you're pointing at. This one? No, this one right here. There's no one in there. They're all dead. Wasn't the passenger still alive? No, everyone's dead. Everybody's yeah, dead. Yeah, everyone died. Okay. Beersford moved up. Uh, he's going to, next turn, he'll be able to search. Uh, meanwhile, Cox on the 50 aimed... Took an aim action, so if anyone were to come around the corner and get plus one to hit them, which would be, well, game over for them. <laughs> so that's why they came around this way. One guy went in the building. My RPG came this way. He's looking down here. The other guy's in the uh, doorway there. But then when somebody's pointing a 50 cal at you, you usually don't need the extra incentive no. to not go that way. We know there's a 50 cal out there. So Andre's content to hold the intersection with the 50 and the armored Humvee and search the vehicle. And that was the action phase. Now we move on to the reactive movement phase, which means everyone can move four inches again. So everyone has uh, assured me that I had a guy left in here. The passenger is uh, wounded. Wounded, right? wounded and he was suppressed, which means he couldn't activate till the second turn action phase, which is right now. So there he is. He's going to get out and he's going to point at Beersford. And he's now doing all of yeah. your reactive movement. Right, and I already, I already finished. You did? Actually, I didn't finish with this guy yet, so he'll get behind cover here. Oh, you did move these guys. Yeah, so those guys all moved up. The RPG moved up. And these guys are going to move up as well. So I moved up. Scorpion came up. Beersford moved up. This guy went behind the building, or the uh, barrier. Padilla came out of the door. He's there. And then the Humvee drove up. Careful to stay out of line of sight of that RPG. So now we go into the regular shooting phase, which Andre gets to go first. Alright, so Beersford here. Uh, he's really good. And he's point blank. So if you're within, uh, I think, four inches, you're in point blank range, close combat, which all the negative modifiers for automatic firing, uh, stuff like that just disappears, and you get a plus one for being at close range. So he's a two. Uh, no negative for firing three shots, because he's within four, and he's going to have a plus one, which will negate the cover. So three shots at anything but. So they would have been three automatic hits, except you were behind that barricade. So. I don't think there's such thing as an automatic hit. <laughs> I think a one is always a fail. Okay, so uh, three ones. All right, so three uh, yellow cards. <laughs> yeah, he's already wounded. Uh, well, not that he could survive three yellow cards either. And he's wounded hamstrung. Yeah. That's death. He's toast. The next one was no effect. Oh, right. And the third one was wounded yeah. hamstrung. So he's toast. So he would have been dead even without the... Uh, so Beersford sure definitely got the drop on runner. that guy. And I don't really have line of sight to anything. So... I really don't have any shooting, Andre. And that means I don't have any shooting unless I want to take out a civilian. Yep. So Andre's again going to get the initiative. So I need to try to set this up where Andre can't automatically take the... Um, My first action as a... Yes. Um, scouting the field. Which means, to do that, I would probably have to move these guys up to the gate and get line of sight on him so that his first action would have to be to shoot at me. And then I would have to assess with somebody else. And then I could maybe get the initiative. If you sacrifice a couple dudes. Even one dude. Well. One dude will do it. A dude will uh, do it. Yeah, so. Uh, dude will do. We're on turn three now. And it is the movement phase, and I will move first, and then we will alternate, and we'll come back. So just breaking in here, uh, I did have to do the um, the first move. And what I did was I moved this guy up tactically, so he's going to get his plus two to his action, which is going to make him harder to get the drop on for this guy. But Andre could just uh, Remain stay idle. Stidle. I, yeah, if you go idle, you actually get like a plus, plus four. four. Yeah which means I would have to then move him out so that he would have to choose who he was going to shoot with in the action phase. Response, Andre got Bruder out, the driver, tactically as well. So now uh, they were tied with their... They're actually tied still, Andre. Uh, they're both the same. They're uh, recruit level. You're, you're uh, six, base six. You're not a base six. Yeah, I am. As a recruit? 
Oh, you might have better gear than me. Yeah. So if you're a base six, you beat me for sure. So yeah. So Andre has uh, gotten out his driver in response, and if we were when we get to the action phase, even if I were to go first somehow, he would still get the drop on me and be able to shoot first. But he's reconsidered. We realized he can't get out tactically. Getting in and out is an action. Moving tactically is an action. You can't do two actions. So even Bruder getting out, he would have been a, a base action six. I'm a base action five, but I move tactically, and which makes it a seven. To drop on me. I would definitely have the drop on you. So he's going to not do that. At the end of the movement phase, all these guys, including the red scorpion, have advanced up. I went idle with my RPG. So idle gives you a plus four uh, to your action stat, so you're quicker on the trigger. He also went idle. He's out of line of sight of everything. That guy moved up tactically. Andre went idle with everything. So he's got uh, Bruder in the window with his M M4 sticking out. And he's got the 50 cal kind of covering this arc. And Padilla moved to there tactically. Uh, Bruder. Bru no, that's not Bruder. Brenner. That's Beersford. Beersford. Begins with a B. Beersford stayed idle. He's going to search the truck. And that's it. So that's the end of the movement phase. Now we go to the action phase, and Andre gets to act first. All right, Andre's going to take the plus three and assess again. Okay, I'm going to fire. Uh, I'm going to start shooting at you then, I guess. Oh, wait. No, I'm sorry. We got that wrong. It's the reactive movement phase, not the... No, action phase. I'm sorry. <laughs> That's after. Man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Action okay. phase. All right. So, I got the first action. I assess the battlefield. You get to take the first shot. So I decided I'm going to try to dodge this guy out of the way, even though he's idle. So, he has a higher action, so he's going to go first. But I'm going to try to dodge out of the way, but he's going to fire as he sees me running. So... Um, the uh, driver is going to And we've been off. forgetting the minus one for the action phase. It's minus one every time you shoot in the action phase this as well. This is true. We have, I believe, forgotten that every time so far. But, because we're in point blank, yeah. I don't have the minus... Do I take the minus one for that modifier? I think so. It's still the action phase, yeah. Okay. But for firing two shots, I don't take the minus, minus one for one. that. Nope. So, it's... I'm base uh, three. Yep. So, Four. hitting on a five. So, two at five? So, yeah. One, you get uh, one for the cover, one for the action phase firing. And then if you're shooting two dice, yeah, no minus one for that. Because we're at point yep. blank. Yep. So, fives, it would have been sixes, but we're at point blank. One hit. Got a hit. All right, I believe you're having an assault rifle, so it's a yellow card. A yellow card, and that's kill. Be a kill. <laughs> okay. Oh man, he's just killed trying to dodge. Just hey, get out of the way. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Should have been a little quicker. Should have been. Okay, now it's uh, my turn again. Yep. <laughs> um, that was my action phase. That, that was you <laughs> acting. Hey, what a great action phase. Um, I'm going to go ahead and uh, search with... Uh, uh, Beersford? Beersford. All right, so it's plus, so it's four up. Roll one. Ooh. Oh, so he searched Get one it. vehicle. All right. All right, so now it's my action. So at the end of the reactive movement phase, I've managed to stop Andre's advance. I got enough guns. I got a guy here, RPG, another guy here, two guys here in a stack. That even if he drove up with the alternating combat phase, I would get a shot on him. And you probably get, more than one. He gets <laughs> several shots. Yeah, so he decided to halt the Humvee here. And uh, that's it. And then uh, Padilla moved here, and Beersford has moved up here, covering kind of down this direction. And that is it. So it is now the combat phase, and I don't think anyone really has any uh, any shooting. Well, except right here. Or did, did you not mean to have those guys out that far? Well, this guy was facing this way. Uh, so that's why I moved up there because I remember you said you were facing, you were covering this area. So Padilla, cal. yeah, sadly the 50 cal is pointing that direction. Nobody knows why, but <laughs> because there's a bunch of dudes over here, <laughs> you never know when someone's gonna pop around. So he's gonna have Padilla with the first action since he has the initiative. He's gonna fire at this guy. So Padilla is a two base because he's really good. And uh, probably just minus one for cover, I would think, and then minus one for any additional shots you would like to take. So, so that's one at be three, fours, two, two at fours. fours. Need two fours. Got one. So, so that one. is a yellow card. And 
No effect. Yes. All right. So Come I got on. one guy that can shoot in our uh, SMG. This guy here. So do I fire at the... I probably should try to shoot the 50 cal dude because he's my biggest threat by far. This guy needs a five with a single shot. If I shoot two shots, I need a six, but I am feeling lucky. Are you feeling lucky, Travis? All right, Cox. Let's see if we can take him down. Hell no. Ooh, a six. Not even a... Yeah, a total of six. Other than that, I think that's it for shooting. So, yeah, the gun's facing this way. Padilla shot, I shot. So turn four, so the game is now half over. And Andre again assessed, so he's automatically gonna get it. So we'll move on to the, we'll come back at the end of the movement phase. So at the end of the movement phase, uh, Beersford hopped over, he's gonna search. He came around tactically, he came around this way. I, he went, uh, you moved tactically too, right? Yeah. Yeah, so he's actually, Beersford is still gonna have the drop on this guy, but I do have him that I could fire on him. So hopefully I'll get lucky there. He moved up tactically to the uh, right behind this barrier. The Humvee actually pulled back. Oh, by the way, I changed my arc. He's firing straight ahead, all right. Well, I'll, I'll catch like across here and up to the edge of that building. Okay. Uh, the hum or the uh, RPGs are gonna stay there. And then this guy is uh, moved around the back and is now in the action phase. So what do you got, Andre? I got the first action. You have the first action because you have the initiative. So Padilla is going to search the body. Got yeah. it. So that's uh, another point for you. So you, uh, we'll copy that down. And I'm going to assess battlefield, Andre. Oh, that was my first. You uh, forgot. I finally I forgot. I knew you'd slip up at some point. <laughs> uh, so yeah. So that's going to give me Travis a lot. Travis can always count on me to slip up eventually. A lot better chance to, uh, but you know, I did that because I have the drop on here. So the same exact thing when you were here, when I was here and you were in the vehicle yeah. pointing out. Now, if you try to, I still get to shoot first. That's the beauty of it. Yep. Yep. But it's my action now. So, so you're going to beat me there. Well, actually it's mine because you just assessed the battlefield. Oh yeah. It's yours. So you could try to take him down. Um, That's pretty much your only but I'm actually, sure bet. Um, I'm going to have... Oh, so Padilla already went. Yeah, Padilla searched the car, or the dead body in the driver's seat. <laughs> and found stuff. Actually, I don't think you get anything else for searching, Andre. Oh. You already found the codes. I think you're done. Yeah, you don't get anything else, so there's no point. Going to rethink that action? Because uh, you can move. So you can search the car or the bodies to try and find the codes? You already found the codes. Yeah, you found yeah, them. Yeah, but there's only the one thing to find. Yeah. I think I... Yeah, oh, okay. I thought plus, so. Okay, I thought so. so. All right, so another plus one for Andre. There, there we go. go. Plus one for the... All right, but now you still get to go. So what are you going to do here? You got um, uh, Beersford. I'll go ahead and shoot. So Beersford's going to no. take him on? Machine gun. Take your shots. All right, I'm going to shoot first then since... Because I went tactical, I have a seven against his six, so I actually get to shoot first. So let's calculate what I need. All right, well, I did not shoot. I dodged. So that's the beauty of it. You could dodge. In this case, I wouldn't need a six on a single shot just to hit the guy with all the modifiers. Minus one for the range, minus one for the gun shield, minus one for firing in the action phase. But since I still had the drop on him because I had a higher action skill because of my plus two for going tactical, I was able to just duck out of the way. So now Andre has uh, no shot, and I guess, uh, like Andre said, it's my uh, action phase now. Yep. Right. All right, so uh, the rule says that, so Beersford, I decided I was going to shoot out of him with this guy. He cannot react to, he did have a higher uh, action skill, but he would only be able to react to the guy that actually is shooting at him, so he would have had to shoot at him. So in response to that, Andre dodged Beersford out of the way, the same as I did this guy. So that's kind of how you can move, get out of the lines of fire. So Beersford is now back here. He has nothing to do. Actually, I could, talk, I could huck a grenade over, uh, unseen, <laughs> <laughs> which is probably not a good idea. But I'm desperate, man. I'm. It's not looking good for the terrorist. Actually, it's looking a little bit better now than it did earlier, but... 
Uh, so that was Andre's action. Now it's my action. So this guy dodged out. Kind of behind this. And it's Andre's dodge or uh, action next. So what do you have left, Andre? Um, I got... Uh, you got Cox. Cox and... Bruder's uh, driving. And you still got Downs Bruder. in there. Downs is still in there. He's been assessing this entire time, but he could get out now. Or he could assess again. I'll um, give you a plus one, which is probably not a horrible idea. Even the plus one will be will get you pretty close to even what I am. Actually, I'm tied with you now. A plus one will still give you a, give plus, a plus one. one. Yeah. <laughs> plus one is plus one. A plus one will give you a plus one well, against my... I'm uh, going to pull my driver out first. Brooder's getting out. All right, so my this guy's action. He's going to throw a frag. Uh, if you can't see... So normally you would uh, put the three... So I'm going to target that spot right between Bruder and Padilla. So Andre would put the three, normally he would put the three there. And I would roll a scatter in a D6. And whatever it landed, you know, whatever number one. I rolled, it, so would, it, would it would hit the one and... Yeah. But since I can't see the target, or if it was nighttime, he's actually going to put the one there. So the scatter is a hell of a lot bigger. So this is not a bad chance that I hit the building and it just bounces right back on me. <laughs> but i got to try something here. If I can get these guys... Four. Yeah. So you're going to be way over here. Right about there. So that's. That's not going to do You're anything. like over three inches off. Yeah. So it just blows up over here. And you can only throw one frag per team per turn, regardless of phase. So my frags are pretty much done for the turn. Andre could still throw one. Uh, do you have anything left? Oh, I forgot he got Bruder out. Bruder uh, got out of the driver's seat and he's right there. And you still have downs? Or are you yeah, gonna assess? He's still. I'm. Tr so. I'm thinking he needs to pop out here. Okay, so Downs is gonna get out, and he's not gonna assess. Downs got out of the Humvee. He's over here next to Padilla. Last guy I have for the action phase is that guy. Uh, he's gonna hunker down, which gives you a plus one to your defense, which increases or uh, it could move you up in the uh, cards. But I'm not expecting to get shot back there anyway, so... <laughs> when you have nothing to do, why it's not... It's just something uh, to... I have, just showing yeah, off. I should have assessed with him. So that's it. So it is now the straight combat phase. No, uh, reactive movement phase. Oh, wait a minute. Yeah. Okay, reactive movement phase, and I have to move first. The end of the reactive movement phase. This guy's gone up here. He can't see over. Uh, these guys have tucked behind the building. Oh, I forgot about this guy. Uh... Yeah, he'll just stay there. Um, these guys, so we got uh, Downs and Beersford. Tactical so stack. Have tactically stacked, which uh, that means something in the action phase. It means that they would actually both get to go at the same time, assuming they had the uh, jump, the higher action skill. Padilla himself has jumped up on this uh, 30 cal machine gun that's in the back of this technical. He's covering down this way and pretty much this whole arc. And then Cox is still on the 50, covering straight down the road. And the RPG stayed there. The Red Scorpion stayed there because he assessed. And that's it. So it is now the, uh, I believe, the combat phase. Why not? Andre's going to have Beersford toss a grenade. So it's going to be uh, out of line of sight. So Andre's going to place it right here. So roll a scatter and a d6. So it's just right behind, whoa, right behind, right that, behind guy. that guy. Okay. So right there. So this way. So three inches that way. So, so actually you might... Uh, I don't think so. No. No, it doesn't hit him. It was almost. He caught his attention. It was really close. <laughs> <laughs> he knew it. Uh, he knew it happened. He's awake now, and that's it. So we move on. Oh, so next turn. So turn five. This was to turn eight. Uh, but I did assess. So I'm, I'm a, up to a five. Andre never did assess. So I'm at a five. So we're tied. So it's a straight up. Straight up roll, Travis. Come on. Can you beat a one? I better. <laughs> <laughs> you can't lose. No. Oh, shit. You can't <laughs> one. Lose. 
Why? Because you just tied. And oh, and I can. We found out that that's right. through the bidding process. Yeah, I still have more. You do have more money than I do. I do have you more than you. Can outbid me, so you will purchase the initiative. Yes. I will purchase the initiative with the rest of my funds, and I will have the initiative finally. So that's a point for me. So I do get one point for just winning the initiative one time, and we'll go into the movement phase. At the end of the movement phase, we got a. Well, this alleyway here is going to become bloody here in a second. So all my three guys move tactically out. We are all facing this direction. Tactical stack here. Beersford has turned this way, looking up there. Cox with the 50 is still facing this way. So again, he's not... Sh well, he could still turn in the uh, next movement phase. Meanwhile, Padilla is covering... Still, this he, well, uh, he hasn't manned the gun. That's right. In the action phase, he, he has jumped to up man there. The he's gun. still getting everything in order, getting the yeah. And uh, Downs has moved chamber. this way. So we got a tactical stack here. They're looking different directions. They still get to act at the same time, but they only fire at the same target. So effectively, since they're facing the wrong way, unless they both face one way, we'll see. Remember, there is another movement phase. Uh, down. So he's facing down this way. Meanwhile, the Scorpion has moved around this way, and uh, this guy got up here, and that's it. So now it is the action phase, Andre, and you I go first. Get to go first. Yes, I do. Now the question is, do I assess with the scorpion? <laughs> Actually, you got. You said you wanted to assess with the RPG <laughs> last time. I should have. I should. I should definitely assess with him. But, do you want the initiative next, next turn? So the way it's working now, since he was idle, who is that? Uh, oh, this is Downs, I'm sorry. Oh, Bruder, Bruder's over here, the driver. So that's Downs, that's Bruder. So Downs is idle, he gets plus four, so he'll get to actually react first to what I do here. And then he'll get to go again. <laughs> so he could actually kill two of these guys in one go. Meanwhile over here you have nothing facing Padilla. Padilla. Padilla is facing that way. And he's idle. Yeah. No, well he's tactical but he gets the idle because he's in the tactical stance. Mm. I Damn. believe. Or no, he doesn't get idle but he can use his initiative which is going to be better than his at plus two. What do you mean he used his initiative? Because they're in a tactical stack. No, Padilla's not in the stack. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Um, Padilla's... He's idle. Padilla is actually... I was talking about... Uh, oh, Beer Shirt? Beer Shirt. Yeah. Right, so he could use his plus four. Yeah. So if I activate him, he's got two guys that could bring him down. Over here it's just one, but then like I said, he'll get to go again. Hmm... All right, so I just assess the battlefield because I'm going to get shot first no matter what I do. So go ahead, Andre. Andre is going to use his axe or uh, tactical to fire Beersford up there. So he does beat me by one because he's a base six plus two. I'm a base five, five plus, plus two. two. So I'm firing in the tactical or the uh, um, action phase. So that's minus one. Yeah, and then minus two more for the uh, um, firing automatic. Two more? Yeah. I've got a machine gun? Yeah, he's got a machine gun. Ooh, so that puts me up to... Fives. Three at fives, huh? Yeah, not, yeah that's not impossible. It's... Uh, at the terrorist on the roof. At the terrorist on the roof. All right. Come on, give me a miss. A oh, whiff. You can have one miss, I'll get two hits. No, that's now, a damn hit. All right, so one uh, hit. yellow card. It's always and a And it says, wounded, wounded bleeding, suppressed. Wounded, bleeding. Oh, so that means he's got to go down here. So suppress means you got to get out of sight and you're scared down below. So I'm going to have this guy fire at Downs. And I will shoot him first. Okay, Downs is going to fire first. Since he's idle, I did go tactical, but he still beats me big time because he's four against two. So uh, he has an assault rifle. You're in the, f I believe you're in the first range band. Yeah, looks like it. It's at 14, right? I uh, don't recall, but... Yeah, okay. So it's just uh, plus... 
you're a three. So, so a three. Four. Four for the action phase. The action phase. And then if you fire extra shots, be another minus. So one. two at five. Two at five. Okay. He's gonna have to whip one of these. Okay, one hit. Yes, oh, finally. No, no. Finally no. a whip. All right, now we're gonna do some shooting here. Oh, he gets to shoot. So he's gonna shoot, do his shot. He <laughs> survived. I'm not used to that. <laughs> what? Uh, so I'm a man. I gotta be. I was, it was 14. So I'm in the second range band. So I'm a three, a four, five for the cover. I'm just gonna do uh, one headshot. Is it a six for the? Uh, uh, six. Phase? Six for the phase. So it's gonna help. Be a hell of a shot. A three. All right. All right. Uh, I don't like getting shot at. Here we go. He is going to mount the uh, machine gun on the back of the technical, so it's my turn. So, so Padilla's getting into the Humvees. Uh, Padilla will go ahead and mount three, the Humvee. He's in the driver's seat. Uh, okay, I'm going to throw another frag. I think this guy threw the last one, so this guy, I guess, will throw this one. And we have you beat uh, because we're both, uh, you have, what do you have left? Just Bruder? Just him. Yeah, yeah, so we're all the same. And we tie, so I have the uh, initiative, so I would win. So I will throw another frag. And I'll react to him uh, by uh, sh going down. Shooting, or he's <laughs> not in the open, is he? What do you mean, react to him by shooting? I get to go first. Yeah, I know. But do I have an open shot at him? Or he's got cover there. Oh, they're in me. cover, yeah. So I'll wait and shoot this guy. Okay. And he will, of course, get to go first. Um, uh, Alright, so yeah, frag grenade. Yep, so I do have line of sight, 8 inches to Bruder. So I'm going to try to land it right on Bruder. Andre's going to put the 3 over him, and I'm going to see where it lands. Oh man, that's probably not very good. Oh wait, what the hell am I doing? <laughs> okay, you can keep the 5, and uh... I'll just reroll both. <laughs> uh, that way, a 2. Two inches. So the three, like that. the three goes on top of Bruder. Oh, three, and yeah. it lands on the two. It lands on the two. Yes. So it lands right on top of uh, Beersford. Dead Beersford. Home. I'm sorry. Yeah, Bruder's over here. That's Beersford. All right. So actually, Andre had the wrong guy. I was. I might have said the wrong guy, but I'm on top of Beersford. I was trying to land on Beersford. Uh, so it's scattered actually to right there. So Beersford is going to be within the uh, red card distance, and uh, who's this? Downs is going to be in the green card. So Ooh, what happened to Beersford? I'm not an eight plus, am I? That would be no effect. Really? No if effect. it was an eight plus. Oh, <laughs> uh, just wounded. Five to seven puts me in wounded. So Beersford is wounded, so and then a green card a for Downs. And he's. Actually worse, wounded suppressed. Okay, so Downs is going to have to move. He, so they both take a wound, and then Downs is going to have to move four inches to try to get out of line of sight, and he'll be done until next action phase. So in the end, Downs is suppressed and wounded over there, and Beersford is, takes a wound where he is. And it is uh, now the turn of Bruder, who has two men in his, or well, three guys actually, in sight. Uh, they both went. So if he tries to shoot him, I'm actually going to get to go first since we're both uh, action five. Oh wait, you might actually be a six. I think you have one more than me because you have some kind of piece of equipment or something. Yeah, damn, I forgot about Sweet. that. So you actually get to go first. Okay, Bam. I'll uh, pop the close dude. Yeah, all right. So there's no point in never going <laughs> tactical. I mean, there is a point, but if you go tactical with your most basic dude, I can't ever beat you unless I'm idle. All right, so tactics won't do it. You've got no cover. No We're cover. still in the action phase, though, aren't we? We're still in the action phase. So that's minus one. Yep. So I'm base three, so that's a four. Yep. So two shots at fives. Yep. Another whiff. Oh, I got one. Got one. So yellow. that's going to be a yellow card. Yep. And no effect. No effect. No effect. Ouch. So you somehow hit us. It must have bounced off something, and we're gonna just shoot back. All right. So I, uh, he is within nine. Is that nine, man. That looks uh. What the hell? <laughs> <laughs> Didn't I just measure this? 
Are you not good at sticking yeah, there peaches go. in your mouth and pulling? <laughs> no, apparently not. Uh, yeah, so it's going to be a base three and then a four because of the cover. So the way the cover works is uh, if, the, and if the target is closer to the cover than you, they get the cover. So very simple. Uh, so two at five. Wait, three, four, no, it's five because of uh, action phase and cover. So one at five. One at two five. At yeah, I was like, how come you're shooting back at me just as good right. as I was at you? Here we go. I'm going to just take a single shot. Bow. Ooh. Oh, man. I got him. But it's only a green card because some machine guns are. Only a green card, card he green. says. I see something. <laughs> wounded suppressed. Oh, man. So uh, Oh, man. Yeah, Bruder's now wounded. And so uh, I've wounded all three of these my guys. My is, uh, is hurting. Yeah. That's what getting the initiative can do. That's why it's so valuable to, uh, yeah. Yeah, no, I popped out there. And thinking, I did assess with him at some point, didn't I? Yeah. Yeah, at the very beginning. I, I, I honestly thought I had enough firepower over there that I could take most of you out before the uh, main shooting phase, but uh, I couldn't uh, have that whiff in there. And uh, mm, Definitely whiff. So, he's, so when you get suppressed, you move forward. You have to try to move to get into cover out of line of sight preferably and then you can't do anything until the next action phase so now Bruder will have to move and take his wound Bruder has uh, the suppressed Bruder has moved back here which is kind of in here and suddenly the tables have turned a little bit a and bunch. I do have a chance to get the initiative again because I assess so we're going to be tied again you never did assess so you're going to be at a yeah you never assess with anyone yep. So now, yeah, so you're not going to get the plus one for assessing seconds. So you're going to be, uh, what did I say you were at? We're even. Five. So we're just five straight up five. even. Uh, no, it's still got the uh, main combat phase going. Oh. Right? That was just, actually, we got the reaction. I was just thinking until <laughs> next turn. I'm sorry. I was thinking ahead here. Uh, but <laughs> okay, we still got movement. If we still got reaction. So Andre so losing the initiative move everybody has first. to move everything first. So a four inch move. After the reactive movement phase, the Humvee just moved back. We got two suppressed guys. They can't go anywhere. The Humvee you said was covering kind of this direction. Yeah, no? he's he's kind of got from here to here. Okay, and that's it. Um, no main combat. No one's got line of sight. No one's doing anything. So we move on to the next turn. Turn six. Oh, and I did move the uh, red scorpion off the board for another point. And. Uh, we move straight to the next initiative phase, and we are tied at five. So you're bleeding, dude. Yeah, he's going to drop one. Drops one. He's probably done. No one cares about him. <laughs> yeah, I notice uh, your uh, RPG's just sitting over there. Yeah. Uh... He's got a mission. They never said go rescue him. We're in the cover of this alleyway here. A four and a, and three. a three. I got it. I got the initiative two times in a row. All right, so movement phase. The end of the movement phase. Beersford jumped up into the truck tactically. I uh, moved him back there, him back here. He moved up, and my RPG moved around this way. Oh, I still got this guy. Um, so he's still suppressed. Wouldn't that have been last turn? No, that he got. He was the first casualty last turn. Okay, so he can't do anything until he acts. So phase. yeah, all of our. Suppressions were last All right. turn. So that's it for movement. So it's now the action phase. So I go first. Uh, so, hmm. The last frag <laughs> over here. I've thrown two. I got one left. And we're going to arc it over. Yeah, that's 13 inches. Right to uh, <laughs> right to there. On a linear He's got plane. a hell of an arm. <laughs> oh, man. He was in the minor leagues. Obviously. So it, but it is out of line of sight, so the one is going to go here, and who knows, it might sky, it could land on me. Oh man, so yeah, That's it's going to be... actually going to get some stuff. So what we do, we put the one on the target, actually it was right there. Oh, I thought you were right in between them. Uh, right there, and then the three is going to go... So actually I think I hit green base here. Who's that, Bruder? He's in the one inch circle. So Bruder's going to take a red card, he's going to take a green card. So the frags are raining in, so uh, red card for Bruder. Andre. I'm going to pull one. I'm trying to thinking, 
I sh if I should have reacted to that. I guess you could have reacted with your own frag if you want to try that. That uh, <laughs> would have been a good plan, but I should have thought of that before it actually <laughs> hit me, too. Yeah. Um, all right, so red card. Bruder. Wounded, stunned, he's down. So Bruder, they're all wounded. Uh, yeah. So, so Bruder's dead. Okay. And then a green card for uh, Beersford. He's dead. Oh, that's horrible. Two rangers down. So he took his second wound. If you take two wounds, you're dead. Vehicles have three wounds, and the leaders have three wounds. But yeah, that's three frags that I've thrown that have just done a lot of damage. And is now Andre's turn. Downs is going to throw a frag grenade right there. Out of sight, though. So we'll put it on the one. Oh, that's going to miss. <laughs> no, I hit the oil drums. So the Those war... are full of gasoline. They explode. <laughs> Everyone knows you don't hide behind the red barrels. <laughs> so yeah, it's going to land just kind of out here Way on the fire. Yeah. So a bad scatter for Andre. I got lucky with my scatter. Uh, what am I going to do? He went. He threw the grenade. This guy... Let's come out like that. And I think Andre did pull the... He dodged with this with his action to move back. So he's pretty much done. And let no, you can't get Padilla out because he drove back. Yep. No, the only thing if you uh, bring somebody into my arc with the uh, 50 cal, yeah. I'll fire it. Yeah, I'll do that. Otherwise, right I'm done. <laughs> I'm not getting anywhere in that arc. Help, help me out, Travis. I, I still got one guy to act. So that's it. So uh, that is the action phase. I move to the reactive movement phase. Uh, it's pretty much coming down to the end here. So, do you have any reactive movements? Andre has to do all his first since he lost the initiative. <laughs> all right. Well, we both forgot to assess. <laughs> That's a first. <laughs> and I had guys standing around like they're so a PG. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, we could have assessed. Well, oh. that only benefits Andre because he's still at a five. I needed it just to match him. So. It's going to be a miracle if I get the initiative again. I believe it. But that's pretty much it. Uh, I'm not moving. Andre's not moving really much in the reactive phase. He's going to stay here with uh, Ruder. I'm sorry, Downs to search the other body in the vehicle. So that's it. So straight to uh, main combat phase. No oh, line of sight. He threw a grenade. Anything. I threw all my grenades. So next phase. The next turn. Turn seven. Put it on one. Yeah. And... Two against five for the initiative. Ooh. Yeah. So Andre's got the initiative back. I did have it for two turns, though. I should have had it for did. three if I would have remembered to assess the uh, battlefield. But am I able to do anything with it? You're hurting. You got two men killed. Um, yeah, you're pretty much down to the Humvee and down. Okay. Oh, yeah, he's going to... I forgot about him. He's going to... So that guy bled out behind the uh, shed there. An inglorious ending. And then uh, is movement phase and I have to go first. The end of the movement phase, turn five. I'm just gonna start pulling back. I get a point for every guy I've left alive, so I'm gonna try to build up some points. Meanwhile, down just went idle. He's gonna search the last body in here. And the Humvee went idle and my RPG went idle. So we're pretty much coming down to it. We've done our job. I think we've stalled them for the Scorpion to get off so far. And it is now the action phase. Andre gets to go first. Are you going to do a search um, first, or are you going to do something else? Yeah, I'll go ahead and search. Yeah, I got nothing there to threaten you. So four plus. Ah, oh, another one. So Andre's got another point for another body searched. Okay. You got nothing you're going to, or are you just going to move three? Yeah, I'm just going to start dodging. You going to do anything with your RPG back here? Nah. Okay. He's just going to... Dodge. My, my guys are just gonna stay put. So this will be the okay. So uh, well, we might as well call the game then. Yeah, because uh, I got nothing left to search. Yeah, and I'm not gonna. The only thing I could search would be your Humvee, but that's not happening oh, with the no, 50 you can cal. These bodies here. Oh yeah, I can just walk. <laughs> you gonna let the waltz out? Sure. No? Cease fire. All right, we'll come back and wrap, All right, back to wrap it up. So normally we would actually let these games play out. We had one more turn, but there are times when even when it seems over. If you have a couple turns left that you can scurry around and uh, search a body or a vehicle, it's and, worth doing. And usually, especially from my perspective, that's something that I would be doing. And, you know, well, I think we did that the last game. Yeah. I actually just yeah. got a couple sets of rolls yep. and wound up snafuing. Yeah. Uh, but in this case, he's already searched all the dead bodies here. 
Um, he's, Actually, there's... He searched that one. Well, no, I haven't searched this one. I don't but think you did. No, I didn't. I went up to do it, but then I oh, that's right, dodged. dodged back. That's right. But if I come out here, you still got a dude over there. Yeah. Um, you can keep me off of that body. And uh, now nah, this is, you know, it's, uh, it's what it is. So Andre has, uh, he found the codes for three. He searched a vehicle for one. He searched two bodies. Plus he has three guys left alive for one each. So he's got nine points for this mission. I had one point for getting the initiative. I had one point for the scorpion getting off, and then I had four guys left alive for six points, which means a total so far from mission one to mission two, Andre's got 17 points, and I have 11. So we're pretty close. Yeah, no, the this... The Americans are uh, ahead, but... This came out closer than I thought it was uh, going to. Get it, me getting the initiative, that changed the whole game. Yeah. Because before I really that, I was just on my... Good. I was on my back foot the whole time, just yeah. falling back, well, falling back. And it really all changed when you were able to get enough firepower uh, up there to yeah. keep the Humvee even with the initiative from driving past. Yep. Yeah, I finally got enough firepower to stop the Humvee. Yeah, once he got to here, that was it. And then Andre made some mistakes with his suppressed. He kind of bunched up, and then I got that lucky grenade. He could have moved, uh, I think it was uh, Bruder yeah. could have moved this oh, way right for Rust, and that would spread him up. But Or I could have just remembered to not lose the initial. Yeah. Which, I don't well, know if The first if anybody... time I got it. You didn't forget. You you had other stuff to do. No. I, 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 you, nothing was more important than keeping the initiative. I don't know. I forgot. You think? Yeah, I know. Um, okay. But then, um, an interesting side note, on this last turn, we actually both forgot. Yes. <laughs> And I had a guy like we both had guys that could that didn't do anything, yeah. and we just both flat ass forgot. That was a mistake. Yeah. So it it uh, it as important as it is, it's amazing how often it happens because you don't naturally your natural instinct isn't okay. I've got the first move. Who's not going to do anything? <laughs> yeah, right. Um, that's exactly. just not how gaming brains work. You got to make sure that you do it though. Especially if you're a terrorist. Oh. It didn't hurt you to forget. It hurts me to forget. <laughs> uh, it only hurts you if I do it first. Well, so, yeah. It, well, it hurts me if I forget and you remember. <laughs> Definitely. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, it cost me two guys, um, which is a real bummer. Um, I don't like yes. losing guys. Yeah, poor Bruder. So we lost uh, Killed in Action, Josh Bruder, and Dan Beersford. Yeah, so heroes both. Travis was getting some good draws on the uh, green cards. He was uh, he, I believe, got a wound every uh, every card that was pulled. Yep. And, and I got lucky on a couple of no effects on cards you pulled, which makes a big difference. <laughs> yeah, um, you got to expect those occasionally. And as many uh, cards as I pulled, you know, it's you're going to get some no effects. But yeah, so, uh, yep. it always sucks when you get one because you think the guy's going down and now. No nope. well, shit. He's, there he is. <laughs> and he's shooting back at me? No! <laughs> you can't do that. Uh, yeah. <laughs> it's uh, You, you kind of get used to being the Americans with the initiative and not having to take return fire until about halfway through the game and things just kind of start falling apart. Yep. you gotta, you got to definitely latch on to any mistakes your opponent makes in well, this game. Almost you know, more than more than others. Even. That's, that's why Travis likes playing me. Yeah. Well, I make <laughs> can always time. count on Andre making at least one Yo, tragic error. That's not the, the the problem. Is can I do? Can I remember, capitalize on it? <laughs> I know you're gonna make mistakes. Will I notice it? <laughs> uh, that's the that's the question. Well, so. you did this game, and uh, it came out I think better for you than uh, it necessarily was going. Yeah, to. it was not looking good for me, but I knew eventually. It takes a while. Um, you have to try to set up firing lines. You have to try to make sure that you get enough stuff. Like in the case with the Humvee. Um, he had the one gunner and the driver that could shoot out the window over here. And I don't know. You just have to figure out a way to get enough stuff all pointing the same direction that it makes him not want to drive up. <laughs> and much. if the mission had been get the Humvee off the road, uh, I would have driven past. I would have taken out the RPG. But in driving that gauntlet there, the chances of me taking a casualty as I went by were just too high. I didn't want to 
risk yeah. the casualty and I didn't think I needed to. And you took two anyway. And yeah, which, <laughs> which is that's sad. the frustrating part yeah. is... Uh, well, you didn't lose a guy in the first game, but you did lose two this game. Yeah, and it's... I got to say, I was real impressed with uh, Travis being able to stop the Humvee. I mean, I was pretty happy just sitting here at the crossroads, and I thought I could search both vehicles, and I forgot that all the bodies were out of this one. I thought I could just sit here, search, 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 and... Like a bunch of points. I just, you know, I've got this covered, and you can't really approach me. Um, I just sit here, keep the initiative, and uh, don't worry about you too much. Yeah. Um, but uh, didn't I, work out that way. Well, <laughs> I thought I could come up and uh, get the drop on you and actually get a bunch more kills, but you were able to get your firepower positioned so that it was like, I I really don't want to risk it. Yep. Um, it's too close to a fair fight, and I really don't like getting into yeah. those. Yeah, my only hope was to survive, maybe get a few no effects when you drove up, and then get lucky. That was my plan. <laughs> And luckily it was enough to keep you even from attempting it, which that was kind of my my hope and wish was for you to not even try it. And that's what happened. And and I, but even if you did, I was thinking, okay, I'll probably lose two guys, but I got a couple guys that could probably maybe take out Cox or the Gunner or maybe Padilla. Who knows? Yeah. Well, the real turning point was me not remembering to keep the initiative and that cost me over here yeah yeah um nice. i could have pressed my initiative up this way i could have stayed here and taken this flank and pushed you back huh. um, yeah if you had the if you would have never lost i would have yeah. just been i would have kept going back but my mission was to delay you so the scorpion could which, get off which you pulled off which i still could have done and you still would have pulled off i mean you were just keeping the scorpion on the board because it was a little bit of added firepower yeah. and i wasn't threatening you and he could have assessed, if I remember. <laughs> well, he, yeah. did, he did assess once. He did once. Yeah. But then you remembered you had the RPG over there yeah. not doing anything. Yeah, I could never poke him out. It just, there was never a good time for it that I could get the drop on the Humvee. It just but he, never he actually, presented itself. He did his job. He did. You, you made me, I played around him. His job was to keep you from moving past the edge of that building, and you never did. <laughs> and uh, my movement, my gun facing, my idols... Yep. Um, yeah, well, yeah, I spent a lot of time worrying about the if he pops pacing. around, um, yeah, he had to is he ever going to get a shot? Yeah. So he did good. Even though he never fired, he definitely occupied the Humvee for the whole game. So anyway, yeah, that's the game. Uh, uh, well, I guess I won. No, you won. You got point-wise you won. Well, it's, I, it's, I think anybody could, either of us could claim victory here. Yeah. Hey, I mean, it depends on who's got the better press corps. <laughs> well, we don't have any, so sure some you YouTube. We got some dude on YouTube, <laughs> <laughs> and uh, and he won't be unbiased. Uh, he might have a gun to his head, but he won't be biased. No, just off, yeah, just off screen. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, yeah, we're gonna wrap it up now before we say something stupid. <laughs> <laughs> if it's not too late, <laughs> if it's not too late. Uh, but anyway, yeah, thanks to Casey for uh, sending us these rules. Uh, they're really fun. I mean. As you get it going and you start doing the multiple movements, the multiple actions, it's, it's great. So, And as Casey was uh, actually commented off camera here, you know, he was having a good time watching us play chess because he was getting to watch it real time yeah. and see you know, how long. There were some pretty long pauses in here because the yeah. situations actually got fairly complex in terms of, well, if I do, you know, you're having to think four or five uh, moves ahead just like chess. It and is like that. Yeah. It, uh, it very much so more than uh, most of these uh, type of games. Yeah, having the multiple ways to move, multiple times to shoot, you got multiple times to move. I mean, it, it does add a lot of complexity to the game that you can't just think one phase ahead. You got to think two or three phases ahead because you and, never know where everyone's going to wind up. Yep, and the, uh, you know, I don't think we've ever used the, uh, um, what do you call that three inch jump out of the way move? Dodge. The dodge. Yeah, that was the first time we've, we've done used that. dodges usually to move up into position to fire. Right. But in this one, we were actually using dodges to dodge, dodge and out of the literally way. get <laughs> out of the line of uh, yeah. fire. I was a good. Yeah, I had to get out of that fifty cal because that thing is just brutal. Well, and I had to get out of the, the uh, yep. two on one, and yep. you know, yeah, it's uh, so yeah, just a lot of cool mechanics that uh, we've never played with before that we're both liking. Yep. 
Yeah, cool. So uh, we'll go ahead and call it for tonight. Uh, and we'll play the third mission probably next month sometime. Uh, so keep an eye out for that. And again, check the description of this video if you want to try this game out. So the battery died. I don't know where we were exactly, but I was just about to say uh, we're done here. And, Goodbye, uh, farewell so long. Yeah, and as usual, check out, wouldn't our, want to miss that. check out our Patreon page uh, if you want to see what's going on here behind the scenes. Get some exclusive content. If you want to, that's the way I'll phrase it. It is exclusive. You got a free, uh, not free, but uh, it's a Patreon only um, campaign we just finished. Actually, Juan yeah. Luke. Yeah. We're about to start a Patreon only uh, little uh, Chain of Command Zombies mini campaign that we're going to test play and other stuff, just yeah. hobby stuff. You know, what we're working on, you know, right now behind the scenes that we will be having on the board soon, hopefully. Another, another little. Just little throwing out too. little bones every once in a while. Yeah. Just to say thank you for uh, helping us make this channel better. And also our Facebook group. We got a lot of uh, very friendly. Uh, it's a very friendly environment. There's no, you know, a holes in there. <laughs> I don't know. It's not because I kick people out. It's just the people I join are just cool people. I mean, there's never been a time when some dude joined and was like, oh. Yeah, I'm, I'm probably the biggest jerk on there. Yes. I yeah. never say anything, By so far. it's okay. Yeah, that's why, because I muted you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sweet. Uh, <laughs> I thought I just forgot how to type. Anyway, yeah. So, yeah, check that out as well. Thanks for watching, guys, and we'll see you next time.